Hi, and welcome back to part three uh, with regards to licensing on Odin and managing the portal from your end. So within this short video, we will be covering adding a brand new license to Odin. So what I mean when I say brand new, I mean, uh, let's say they have a premium and an essential license and they have a new user starting and they'd only like that person to have an E1 license, for example, it's adding a brand new license. So let's kick it off. So if, to save time, I've already logged in to the Claxton account, excuse me. And I'll now be navigating to Office 365 via the landing here on the dashboard, or you can simply click on the list of options here on the left. So let's go to the Office 365 section. And once again, let's navigate from here to the licenses section. And because this is a brand new license, we're not increasing the limits at all. We'll simply be buying a new license. Just takes a little bit of time to load. So we'll need to start off obviously by selecting the plan and break it down into the different SKUs. So for example, uh, every year is the difference. So Skype for Business, Office 365 Business, Exchange Online, Enterprise, Family, Yammer, SharePoint, everything, Education, Azure, Enterprise Mobility, even Windows and Dynamics. So once you've selected your plan, you'll see that it'll give you the different plan within that SKU. So these are all SKUs and the plans within there. So let's say that uh, within Michael wants to add an enterprise E1 license to this user, you'll select the enterprise SKU and as you scroll down, it'll break it up with what you need. So in this case, we need an E1 license and it'll give you the specific price for the client. Um, just bear in mind that this won't be a true reflection, reflection as um, these prices will show that the price on the day. So for example, as billion runs 25 to 25, if you buy a license on the 15th, you only have to pay obviously 15 to 25, so it's prorated. So don't ever worry about this. The price that they will receive will obviously be the price that they signed on, on, on the invoice. It's nothing that you really need to worry about. So once you've selected it, let's click next. And it'll ask you from yes, so obviously within the packages, there's different things that you can add. You can obviously do it straight from yes. So Skype for Business Cloud, PBX, Exchange Online Archive. And if they need anything, you can literally just add it and it will put it onto this. So let's just say it's an E1 license. Let's go next. You can see on the left that the path that it's taking you. So now we're going to select the domain. Of which of where we want this associated to so over here so let's make it the at claxton.co.zx so you can link to a service you can choose but your options will be here yeah. so we don't want the on microsoft one we want the claxton one so let's go there let's go next uh your order number uh Right now, if you've got a, if you create a form stack, you can just obviously add the link to that, but it's optional, it's no point. So, it's, and it'll then bring you to a order confirmation page where you can just basically do another check, a sanity check on what you've ordered, and then you can purchase it. So, we get one E1. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions and you're going to hit purchase. I'm not going to do it in this case, but from here, it'll basically, you'll see the icon come up on the right and it'll say busy purchasing and it'll flash green once the license available. And as soon as you go on the dashboard, it'll be there. Just remember, if you are creating a new user, it's very important to purchase the license first, then create the user, then assign the license. All right. Thank you for the session. Cheers.